Hello everyone, let's do a quick recap of what is supervised learning. Supervised learning, also known as supervised machine learning and is a subcategory of machine learning and artificial intelligence. It is defined by its use of labeled data sets to train algorithms that to classify data or predict outcomes accurately. Types of supervised learning are classification and regression model algorithms, We humans learn a lot of things by finding different patterns in the world. For example, by watching the cats and dogs playing or watching a basketball game or by watching a table tennis game, we learn by ourselves without anyone teaching us their patterns. This kind of learning, without anyone teaching us, is called unsupervised learning. Let's define unsupervised learning in simple non-technical way. Unsupervised learning in artificial intelligence is a type of machine learning that learns from data without human supervision. Unlike supervised learning, unsupervised machine learning models are given unlabeled data and allowed to discover patterns and insights without any explicit guidance or instruction. Why do we need to understand the concept of unsupervised learning? Here are prime reasons for using unsupervised learning in machine learning. Number one, unsupervised machine learning finds all kind of unknown patterns in data. Number two, unsupervised methods help you to find features which can be useful for categorization. Number three, it has taken place in real time. So all the input data to be analyzed and labeled in the presence of learners. And number four, it is easier to get unlabeled data from a computer than labeled data which needs manual intervention. Let's understand how AI can use unsupervised learning is by doing it ourselves. So let's take a look at an example of some flowers. The most basic way to model the world is to assume that it's made of distinct groups of objects that share properties. So for example, how many types of flowers are here? We could say there are two because there are two colors, red and yellow. Or we can look at the petal shapes and divide them into round petals and long petals. Immediately recognizing different properties like this and creating categories is called unsupervised clustering. We do not have labels, but we do have pattern assumptions. This is how we can program computers to perform clustering. Here's a step-by-step -step breakdown of how unsupervised learning works. Number one, data preparation. Gather the data set and pre-process the data. This could be images, text, sensor readings, or any other type of data you want to analyze. Clean and format the data to ensure consistency and compatibility with the chosen algorithm. Number two, selection of algorithm. Choose an unsupervised learning algorithm based on your data and desired outcome. Select an algorithm like k-means clustering, principal component analysis, PCA, or anomaly detection. Set parameters to configure the algorithm. Step number three, model training feed the data into the algorithm this kicks off the learning process where the algorithm starts analyzing the data for patterns and structures no target variable unlike supervised learning there's no correct answer during training the algorithm is exploring the data on its own step number four pattern recognition feature extraction the algorithm identifies key features or characteristics within the data that contribute to its differentiation Similarity metrics. The algorithm calculates distances or relationships between data points based on the extracted features. Grouping and clustering data points with similar features get grouped together into clusters or categories. Step number five, model interpretation. Visualize the results. Use graphs, charts, or other visualizations to understand the discovered patterns and groupings. Evaluate the model. Analyze the quality of the clusters or the effectiveness of the dimensionality reduction based on your goals. Step number six, model application. Use the insights. Utilize the discovered patterns for various purposes, such as customer segmentation, anomaly detection, content recommendation, or data compression. Refine the model. Continuously fine-tune the parameters and settings to improve the performance and accuracy of the results. 
Unsupervised learning is an iterative process. You may need to revisit previous steps and adjust parameters or even switch algorithms to achieve the desired outcomes. Different algorithms have different strengths and limitations. Understanding the principles behind each algorithm helps you choose the best fit for your data and purpose. By following these steps and understanding the underlying principles, you can unlock the powerful world of unsupervised learning and uncover hidden insights within your data. The two types of unsupervised learning are clustering and association. What is clustering? Clustering is the process of dividing uncategorized data into similar groups or clusters. Or grouping unlabeled examples is called clustering. As the examples are unlabeled, clustering relies on unsupervised machine learning. What is clustering? Clustering is the process of dividing uncategorized data into similar groups or clusters. Or grouping unlabeled examples is called clustering. As the examples are unlabeled, clustering relies on unsupervised machine learning. Hierarchical clustering is a method of cluster analysis which seeks to build a hierarchy of clusters, thus its name. It's a strategy where we start by treating each object as a singleton cluster and then successively merge or split groups until we reach a certain end condition. There are two main types of hierarchical clustering, agglomerative and divisive. In agglomerative clustering, each object is considered to be its own cluster according to a particular procedure. The clusters are then merged step by step until a single cluster remains. The divisive method is the opposite of the agglomerative method. The other type of clustering is the partitioning clustering. Partitioning clustering, also known as disjoint clustering or hard clustering, is a type of unsupervised learning algorithm that divides a data set into non-overlapping groups or clusters. Each data point belongs to exactly one cluster and cannot be part of multiple clusters simultaneously. There are mainly four types of partitioning algorithm includes as k-mean algorithm, k-mediate algorithm or portioning around Medoids algorithm, Clara and Clarence. What is k-means clustering? K-means clustering is an unsupervised learning approach used in machine learning and data science to solve clustering problems. K-means clustering is a widely used algorithm in the unsupervised learning domain of machine learning. It's known for its simplicity, efficiency, and effectiveness in grouping data points into distinct clusters. K-mean clustering further defines two subgroups, agglomerative and dendrogram. Agglomerative clustering, this type of K-means clustering starts with a fixed number of clusters. It allocates all data into the exact number of clusters. This clustering method does not require the number of clusters k as an input. Agglomeration process starts by forming each data as a single cluster. In the dendrogram clustering method, each level will represent a possible cluster. The height of dendrogram shows the level of similarity between two join clusters. The closer to the bottom of the process, they are more similar cluster which is finding of the group from dendrogram which is not natural and mostly subjective. Benefits of unsupervised learning Handles complex tasks Unsupervised learning is more useful than supervised learning where the initial input data is more complex and unstructured. No need to interpret labels. Machine learning engineers and data scientists are in charge of passing data sets through algorithms to train them, but they aren't needed to interpret labels for each data point. It derives meaning from raw data sets. AI tools can more quickly evaluate raw data when compared to a person. It identifies underlying patterns in unstructured datasets. Unsupervised learning can be used to identify common factors between large amounts of different data points. Works in real time. Unsupervised learning can work with real time data to identify patterns. Less costly than supervised learning. Unsupervised learning does not require the manual work associated with labeling data that supervised learning requires. Challenges of unsupervised learning. Results can be unpredictable higher risk of inaccurate results, longer overall training times. Unsupervised learning models need a large training set to produce outcomes, and learning from raw data can be time-consuming. Lack of insight. Identifying the hidden patterns in large and classified data sets can make the training process more difficult. Computational complexity due to a high volume of training data. 
human intervention is required to validate output variables. Usage of unsupervised learning in applications. Clustering anomaly detection. This technique uses unsupervised learning to detect the performance of outliers in a data set grouping without labeling the data. Association rule mining unsupervised learning identifies occurrence patterns in large data sets and how they affect each other. This application is often used to detect suspicious activity, disease symptoms, and customer shopping habits. Next, cybersecurity software trained in unsupervised learning can help detect when a cyber attack might occur as well as where and how. Customer segmentation marketing groups personalize their advertising strategies based on which categories its customers fit into. Medical imaging healthcare organizations use the unsupervised machine learning features in radiology and pathology devices to help detect and diagnose patients. Prognostic validity often used in healthcare. This application groups patients with similar health issues and predicts how these patients will do over time. Recommendation engines organizations gather data about people's browsing, shopping, and viewing habits to provide them with personalized content. Finally, let's know the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning. The main difference between supervised and unsupervised learning lies in the type of data they use and the way they learn. Supervised learning label data uses data points with predefined labels or categories. Imagine flashcards with questions and answers. Supervised learning goal trains the algorithm to predict future outcomes or classify new data based on the relationships it learns from the label data. It thinks of learning to identify specific objects and images based on examples applications, spam filtering, image recognition, sentiment analysis, stock market prediction, and more. Unsupervised learning unlabeled data. It uses data points without predefined labels or categories. Imagine a pile of photos without captions. Goal of unsupervised learning is to discover hidden patterns and structures within the data, like grouping similar data points together or identifying anomalies. It's like exploring a new landscape and finding interesting features without a map. Unsupervised learning applications are used in customer segmentation, fraud detection, topic modeling and text analysis, image compression, and more. A quick summary of what has been covered today. We did a quick recap on supervised learning and its types. We learned what is unsupervised learning and how it works. Types of unsupervised learning. What is clustering and types of clustering? What is k-means clustering? Benefits and usage of unsupervised learning. Difference between supervised and unsupervised learning. With this, let's end our session today. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment.